Hey there, welcome to another episode of Tick Tick Boom! Boom. I'm Alicia Malone, Movie Geek from Malone'sMovieMinute.com. My name is Maud Garrett, I'm Chief Bomb of GeekBomb.net, and we use Tick Tick Boom to connect with you, where you get to ask us questions that involve both movies and games, and we get to geek out about it. Yeah, we got this great question from Jonathan Flores. Hi, Jonathan, who correctly identified us both as Sheilas. Good on you, bloke. Because we're Aussies. <laughs> And he says, what video game mod would you like to see being made into a feature film? But we also thought we could do the opposite too. What movie would I like to see as a video game? Yeah, maybe I could turn you into a gamer. Probably not. <laughs> <laughs> I did a bit of research about this and noticed that every kind of game I would love to see be turned into a movie already is. Yeah, And I Hollywood. think it's because, yeah, the fact that the games industry completely surpassed the movie industry in terms of, you know, gross profit. Mm. So now they're all kind of turning to games because, you know, the people are already there. People are already playing these games. So then we'll make a movie out of it. I mean, it's a no-brainer. It is a no-brainer, but it's unfortunate. This is just Hollywood in 2014 where instead of going for original concepts, let's not take any risks. Let's uh, capitalise on existing properties, existing books, comic books mm. and video games. And there is yet to be uh, yet to have been a good video game movie. Everyone so far has scored less than fifty percent positive reviews. Hold on, hold on. What about Tomb Raider with you know, Angelina Jolie? Oh, especially Tomb Raider. That was terrible. Have you ever seen Street Fighter or Mortal Kombat? Unfortunately, yes. <laughs> they were awesome. No, they were not. Get over oh. it. Anyway, Maud, so what are the video game movies that you are looking forward to seeing? Because they will happen. They will be happening. Coming in at number three, it is Watch Dogs. Look, the video game hasn't even come out yet, but Ubisoft is working really closely with Sony to get this motion picture happening pretty quickly. They've mm -hmm. already got the writers from Zombieland oh, working yeah. on the script. I love that movie, and mm. they made zombies funny, so even though this is a dark... Yeah, yeah Aiden Pierce is a hacker with a little bit of a chip on his shoulder. Maybe they could make that quite funny also and get mm. some good cast. Looking forward to it. Number two, Assassin's Creed. There is so much to work here with since we've seen so many games that have tackled different parts of history. But the main thing is always the same. You've got Desmond Miles who is getting tapped into to have his histories and assassin -y thingy thing over here. <laughs> There's a lot of games happening there. All I know is that I'm up to the pirate one. Um, <laughs> but what's really cool is that Michael Fassbender is attaching himself to the project, not oh. only to star in it, but to produce it. Oh my gosh, I loved him in Shame, in Hunger, even 12 Years a Slave where he was an awful character. He is such a great actor, so I would watch that for sure. X-Men, coming soon, Days of Future Past. That's Can't it. Wait. He's going to be a busy guy, um, and the movie has been delayed a few times. They're going to start filming mid-next year. Yay! And number one, the movie that should have been out by now already, Uncharted! This is Naughty Dog's amazing movie about a guy treasure hunter. So picture Lara ah. Croft with a hmm hmm instead of the hmm hmms. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's a great <laughs> movie, and uh, we wanted Nathan Fillion to play Nathan Drake. But it just took too long. Now Mark Wahlberg's supposed to be playing Nathan He's Drake. He's a bit old though. Isn't yeah, he? and the three already, three different directors have been attached to the project and have all left it. Names like David O. Russell. Well, that's weird because I just think of him for Silver Linings Playbook and American, American Hustle. Hustle. I can't imagine him taking on this style of what film. What about Neil Berger was the next oh, guy? Oh, Limitless. Well, he was cool and he just did Divergent, so possibly. And was too busy and they've oh. also tried to hand the reins over to Seth Rogen and Evan Goldberg. Oh weird. Well, I know. This is the end was great but that's more of a comedy. So who knows what's going to go on with this movie but I'm still looking forward to seeing it. What about you? What three movies would you love to play on a console like a gamer? Okay well I'm not sure if this has already been made into a video game. Has there been an Indiana Jones there's, game? Yeah, there's been, uh, you know, tapped into, obviously, it uh, falls under the Lucas Arts, Films, yeah, Lucas Lucas Arts, Films yeah. franchise. Um, I think the only real Indiana Jones game that a lot of people know and have played is the Lego version. Oh. So you're a little Lego indie, you know, little well, giant fake cute. boulder. It is cute, but it's not like that serious, you know, Yeah, experience. I would love to actually play as Indiana Jones and go on these adventures. I think that would be really exciting. Uh, number two, this might be a little controversial. I love the Hunger Games. I love the books as well. Could this be a game? I started thinking that, yeah, this would be so much to, fun to play. I could be Katniss. I that could would be, be really out in the cool. woods. You could be searching for all the ways to get out of these games. She's a skilled bow, a bow lady as well. And that's huge in games at the moment. And a strong female lead is what we need. Except you are killing kids. 
Oh yeah, so maybe the fact that you are actually actively killing them by using the console mm. might not actually work. Probably a reason why they haven't tried to end. exploit that franchise oh, even more. Yeah, because mm. I remember there was a Hostel game, oh. Oh, but then that got outlawed because you are Low participating in it spaces rather than just watching it. Anyway, so my number one film I would like to play as a video game is one of my favourite movies of all time, David Fincher's Fight Club. This could be really fun. This could be really fun because you'd have the uh, the Fight Club element, which could be like Street Fighter. Yeah, pew, 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 well, pew, or pew, even pew. like, you know, one of those UFC matches that they do, you know, loves at the moment. You could choose between playing uh, the narrator or Tyler, end up being the same person. Yeah. And you could participate in Project Mayhem and go and cause havoc all over the city. So I would like that to be made into a game. And then you might just see me sitting on that couch with you. Playing on the thing like you do. Can we please make like, <laughs> Fight Club a game and just have it, mashing it? That'd be great. Yeah, because that's going into all, the walls. That's what all the fighter games are anyway. People just button mashing. Yeah. Well, Supreme uh, victory. I'm a button masher, and I learned that was a term the other day, and that's me. Oh, there you go. Well, we are learning things about each other as well as about our own genre. Hopefully, you learned something as well. <laughs> Don't forget you can participate in Tick Tick Boom by submitting your questions below. And look at the links below, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. This has been Tick Tick Boom! <laughs> you don't like it, I'll break your thumbs. How? I'm sorry. It's the video games. It makes me violent. <laughs>